In this tutorial we're going to see how to take a video that shot at 60 frames per second and play it back at 24 frames per second with two sections that will speed ramp to three times faster. Let's see how to do this using Twixter and After Effects. First we can take a look at the original shot. Now we can right mouse click from the project bin and select interpret footage main. We can select conform to frame rate and enter 23.976 in the dialog box and select OK. Now we can right mouse click and make a new comp from selection. I'm going to name my comp Boxing Speed Ramp. I can go to Composition, Composition Settings and see that my new comp is 23.976. We want the output video to be 6 seconds longer since we're speed ramping in two places. So 6 seconds at 24 frames per second would be 144 more frames. I can go back to comp settings and set duration to 546. 402 which is original footage length plus 144 which is 6 seconds at 24 frames per second. And also set start frame to 0 if it's not already. Internally, Twixter's start frame is zero. Now we select that comp in the project bin, and we go into the new comp, apply Twixter there, and set the time remap mode to frame number. We start by going to first frame, frame zero, and activate the stopwatch icon to animate the frame number. And then we go to the last frame, which in this example would be 545. We add a keyframe there for frame number that's 401 which is the last value of the source time. Now we can toggle the graph editor on if it isn't already. You will see a linear curve since there's no retiming and it's one to one. However, it's still a slow-mo of 545 frames from 401 frames. Since we have a specific motion speed edit in mind and because our example is about every second, we can set the blue diamond in the timeline for the frame number parameter every second. We still have a straight line in the graph editor with a keyframe every second. From here we can work two ways, visually or by calculating the values. To work visually we can just move the keyframes manually. Decreasing the distance between two points equals the speed up, and increasing the distance will become a slow-mo section. Or you can pre-make a table like this and just enter the values. So using a table like this and starting at the beginning, we can use the keyframe arrows to go to each keyframe and enter the values adding 24 to each existing value, except where I want the three times speed up. I would add 72 to those keyframes. After this last keyframe, I can just leave it as it's linear to frame 312 when I run out of source frames because we sped up two sections. We can end there at frame 312 or have it hold at constant speed until the end. We could also just delete those extra keyframes as they are unnecessary since they're linear. Note, if you don't like to do math, here's a little trick using Excel. We can start with 0 on line C5 in this case and on the next line, C6, make an easy formula equals C5 plus 24 and then we copy line 6 and paste it down as many frames as we have. In this case, we've gone a little over, as we only need to go to 312. These represent the frame numbers every 24 frames. Next, we'll copy the keyframes and paste in the next column. We want to change the formula in two places to multiply by 3, which will create the 3 times slow-mo. Now we go to After Effects and copy the keyframe parameter and paste it back in Excel. We will delete the existing keyframe data and copy paste the new keyframe data in its place and we can move the end of keyframe data parameter. We can copy the whole thing now and go back to After Effects and make sure we're on frame 0 and paste the Excel result. Voila! I'm not sure if that's an easier method but since some people are more comfortable with numbers than making visual changes I wanted you to be aware of all the options. Okay, let's go back. If I want to interpolate the keyframes and change to Bezier, we can right mouse click on the keyframe and go to Keyframe Interpolation and choose Continuous Bezier. This makes handles appear which you can use to make a curve instead of a line. Note: You want to always increase the value frame to frame otherwise you will go backwards somewhere. 
That's how you finesse the ramping. This is how you can take a video that shot at 60 frames per second and play it back at 24 frames per second with two sections that will speed ramp to three times faster with Twixter in After Effects.